hopefully uh, this will be a tutorial on how to install BVCMS. I'm a Linux guy so everything may not be proper for Windows servers but here's a shot in the dark anyway. First things first, uh, you want to download and install the web platform installer. The web platform installer will help you get all the server tools that you need in order to actually host BBCMS. Now that this is installed, one more thing you want to get is GitHub. Now that that's installed, let's go ahead and pull in our Microsoft apps that we need to host. While this is downloading, we can go ahead and open up GitHub, drag and drop the repository from the website, from the BBCMS GitHub website, we can drag and drop the repository into the uh, GitHub desktop manager or we can just go ahead and clone from the website and download the, the source files needed. Since I already have GitHub, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clone it again. Now that we have those all installed, let's go ahead and open up our new project or BBCMS project in Visual Studio Express 2013. to the bottom you'll see CMS web. Make sure that your web.configs file is properly set up. Web.config I had some issues using these connection strings, so uh, this may not be the proper way to do it. I'm not really sure. I uh, this is through a case of trial and error that I came up with this solution, which will allow me to actually connect to my SQL database once I deployed it. You want to go ahead and open up your package manager. Now you want to set this as startup, rebuild it, before you go any further, uh, I did have a problem compiling one of the databases, it was the Elma database, so what I did was I manually uh, deployed the SQL, SQL stream into the database without using the the script that's already in the source code to automatically load the database basically all I did was go to my SQL server management studio new database called it Elma and then you want to load the query string for Elma and manually deploy it SQL scripts, 
build Elma DB. Now, be very careful, you do not want to deploy it on the master. We're going to deploy it, execute on Elma. From there, we're going to debug this project so it will run through all the scripts and all the source code available. What you want to do now is go ahead and log in admin default password bvcms let's take a look at our install now this is all running through visual studio express 2013 running through visual studio express you'll constantly have to log in and keep debugging to have your installation available to you so to take it a step further and again this may not be right but this worked for me take it a step further we're going to go ahead and try to deploy this within IIS so that it's running just as any other service is running what you want to do is go ahead and stop the debug we can close out of that Let's open up your IIS manager now what I did here is I went ahead and decided to copy my BVCMS installation out of the github directory possibly put it into my websites the reason I do this is so that there's no issues when I when I uh, resync my repository or my local repository back to the github repository I don't want any errors or issues with the working installation of BVCMS I can always test it with Visual Studio Express but this will always be running in IIS and if there's any changes I want to go ahead and deploy I can just copy and paste them again back to this directory. I did have to change some security settings that I had. This may not be the proper way but to keep things simple this was the best way for me to do it. What we do now is go ahead and create a new site. We're going to call this BBCMS. The path to it, we're going to use this one and we're going to go into CMS web of the BBCMS directory. We're not going to use the GitHub one because that's our, our up to date kind of our testing repository that's always available from github we want something that, that'll stay stable one thing to note I did have to change this to classic may not be an issue really don't know what it is uh, but I was told by someone to change this to classic so that it'll work better now from here I was able to double check my SMTP one more thing I went ahead and changed my send error my system from email Also with the permissions of the file, 
You want to also want to set the permissions of your SQL database. So go back into SQL Management Studio. I forgot this step earlier. Go into your databases. Each of your databases, right click, go to New, User. Now we want to match the user with the user that has permissions for the files. Our NT Authority Network Service. And for a name, we can just type network service. Now, I've been giving them database owner. Once you restart it, navigate to your local host. And there you go. There's your installation using your newly changed password.